One, two, a one, two, three. for joining me in this week's feature lesson. We're going to take a look at learning an original composition that's a fun and easy melody in the key of C. So as you just saw and heard there, I played through two arrangements over a very basic chord progression in the key of C, 1, 4, 1, 5. And that first time through, I did a nice Carter style arrangement. We played the melody right on the head. And when we do Carter style, you know, we're learning to play the melody within the chords and while we accompany ourselves. So the second time through, we're going to do more of a beginning bluegrass flat picking arrangement. We'll explore more of the fretboard, we'll use other chord shapes, we'll use some cross picking, and of course some consecutive eighth notes and hand rounds and pull offs to really spice things up. Now if you want to access the full length version, it's just, just a preview here, click the link below and it will shoot you on over my website. This lesson is going to come with over 35 minutes of video, downloadable PDF tabs, notation, and Guitar Pro 6 file, along with three speeds of audio backing tracks as well. Now if you really like the way I teach and approach learning and you enjoy my song selection and you enjoy this genre, this bluegrass, old time, country folk genre, I encourage you to learn about being a premier member at the site for a monthly, quarterly, or yearly fee. You can access this lesson in over 400 videos just like it, plus all three of my courses, and you can access the Sound Slice software, which is embedded on nearly every lesson of the site. It gives you the ability to loop and slow down the playback and watch the sheet music in the video go by at the same time. It's a very powerful practice tool. For now, we're going to start walking through the first arrangement, the Carter style arrangement here. In the key of C, I'm going to bring the camera on in, put the tabs upon the screen. Let's go for it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down this first arrangement here for beginning Carter style and flat picking arrangements in C. And in this video, this first video clip here, we're of course going to be working through the Carter style uh, arrangement. Any markings below the staff are pick directions, so the staples are down and the V's are upstrokes and you want to pay very close attention to those to execute the arrangement cleanly. So I'm going to play those first three measures there. We have a pickup and it starts on beat two and then we get into the kind of the first full measure. So here's what those uh, first three sound like. So one, two, three, four, one. first measure there that's a uh, quarter note rest is the first beat and then uh, beat two we get third fret on the low E and then the next note third fret on the A string and then the next note is open D okay all quarter notes they're all down strokes so the down strokes are on down beats and the up strokes are on the up beats or the and beats I should say and, you know, as far as my left hand goes here, I'm doing, you know, I am playing a C chord, but I'm voicing the C chord a little different here. I'm, I'm doing a C slash G, kind of an inversion, if you will. And so instead of having my third finger on the A string, I'm going to bring my third finger up to the low E and put my pinky in on the A string, third fret. And this kind of creates a C slash G. So C with a G note right here in the bass. And it sounds a little thicker. And I'm doing it here at the top just so I can get some you know, more connected plane. All three of those notes can ring while I get into the next measure. Okay, so it's a, I'm doing it for a couple reasons. Mainly though, to, to get a nice connective sound. So, 
That's the chord shape I'm using right there. I won't use it all the time, but here at the beginning, I certainly will. So measure two, I got a zero two hammer on the D string. So I'm gonna hit that D, open D again. And then I'm gonna hammer it on. And then I'm gonna strum down up. So that's the zero one zero. You know, there's two of them, right? Um, two eighth notes beam together. Well, actually there's four in a row here, of course, but the strum is just uh, down up. It's beat two and, so. And then I'm just gonna repeat, same thing. Zero two hammer on the D and the strum. So if I put those two together, three, four, one. And when I strum, I wanna focus, you know, kinda as written there on the highest sounding three strings. If you hit more than that, that's not the end of the world by no means, and it's gonna be okay, but it just certainly cleans things up. Sticking to those highest three sounding strings keeps that melody forward, and it just sounds cleaner. And the next measure, open G, strum, and then zero to hammer on the G, and then an open G, just a quarter note. Okay. So let's do that, um, the first three measures together a couple times. So one, two, three, four. time three four one so as you notice with the Carter style we're gonna be playing that melody you know right within the chord right there's gonna be lots of hammer-ons um, just kind of right inside of that C chord there on the D string and on the G string and that's really typical and common here in this style of playing so let's move on to the next few measures now, four, five, and six. We we'll get over the F chord. They sound like this. Two, three, four. Again. Okay. And we're on the F chord there, measure four. We're gonna be um, third fret on the D. It's where the melody note is. It's an F note. And then I'm gonna strum the F chord. You see one, one, two, one, one, two. It indicates, you know, some for the most part a strum here. And then a zero two hammer on the G. And then another strum. Next measure, first fret B, strum. And then a one, three hammer on the B string. And you can use your, you can come off and use your third finger if you want. I'm gonna use my pinky. There's so two different ways to kind of finger this little passage, but my pinky is free, and I think it uh, is most efficient to go about it that way. And then back to first fret on the B. So one, two. Again, we want nice and clean. You want to bring those melody notes forward. In the next measure, we go back to a C chord, but we play an open G note here on the downbeat. We strum. And then a zero to hammer on the G. And we're going to strum. I am going to leave that second finger down there. Kind of gives it this C6 um, sound here. And it goes by so quick, you won't really notice it, but I'm not, I don't want to lift it up. It kind of creates too much movement if I lift it up, so. Okay, sounds nice. So those three measures, two, ready, go. Okay, let me put all uh, six of those measures together. So starting at the top. They sound like this. Oh, one, two, three, four, one. Well, 
Last time, two, three, four, one. All right, let's move forward when you're ready. Two, 